So a whole lot of students at Georgetown University are scrambling tonight. They have been ordered out of their dorms right in the middle of midterms. You see, the school is worried that a heavy snow might collapse the roof on their building. Bruce LeShan tells us some of those young people there are panicking. The students say they are worried about retaliation for turning to the media. So they've asked us not to use their names or show their faces. You can't just tell students before a long weekend on Monday that they have till Friday to move out when it's the middle of midterms. The university ordered 85 students on the top floor of Alumni Square to pack up their stuff and move across campus to the Georgetown Hotel and Conference Center. We were given less than a week's notice to completely evacuate. Maintenance crews had found a problem on the roof after students complained about an exposed beam. The fear is heavy snow or high winds could put too much pressure on the beam supporting the roof. If we got an inch or more of snow, it might collapse. The already stressed students complain their professors have cut them little slack. I had technically 48 hours to do all of this. Also, I got strep throat on Monday, so I was sick. So I couldn't go to any of my classes this week because I was sick and I also had to move out. This is midterms week. I had three papers I have this week. I have two exams. They're not doing anything. But Georgetown insists it is doing a lot, providing the displaced students free housing, free laundry, and free food for this semester. I love you. Have the best time with Joey. It's you. also asked faculty to accommodate students upset by the sudden move. But these students say the school needs to do more. Um, we're supposed to call this home, but it's feeling a lot less like it sometimes. In D.C., Bruce LeShan, WUSA 9. Georgetown is also storing the students' large items or shipping them home. A spokesman apologized to the students for the hassle, but says their safety is the school's top priority.